Hey, it's Greg Torres. Again, I'm in South Florida, and uh, I wanted to show off a really great native plant to South Florida specifically, the Caribbean, and uh, even into Central America. Maybe even in South America, I'm not certain. But uh, this plant right here. Let's see it here with this flaky bark. This is called the Gumbo Limbo Tree. Bursera simaruba is the scientific name. You can see the bark peels off and it's got this reddish tinge to it. I've even seen the bark kind of gray in color. As you can see, it peels off and when it peels off, the bark behind it is pretty green. It's because it's able to photosynthesize through the bark and the branching. This is a great adaptation because, for example, in a hurricane or a tropical storm, some of the leaves that you see here, they may just completely blow off or maybe even the branches break off. So consequently, having the ability to photosynthesize through the trunk allows this plant to still gather energy even when the leaves are missing. Another great adaptation this plant has for hurricanes in that is that its wood is quite brittle. It's not a very good lumber wood. But what this means is that if the branches break off, especially young branches, if they break off during a hurricane uh, and happen to stick into the ground, they'll grow readily into new trees. That's another aspect that makes this plant a great ecological restoration plant, especially in the South Florida habitats here. You can easily propagate it. It's kind of attractive with its exfoliating bark like this in the reddish color. Kind of neat. Another aspect of it, ecologically speaking, are these fruits here. They're aurals, technically, and inside is the seeds. A lot of the migrant birds, the birds that fly down south for the winter, like vireos, flycatchers, I think grosbeaks especially, they'll eat these aurals, these fruits. And so again, if you're doing restoration work in South Florida, this is a great plant to be using. Sometimes gumbo limbo is called the tourist tree, because like a lot of tourists, whose skin exposed to the sun turns red and peeling. So does this. Gumbo limbo is in the torchwood family of plants. It almost smells like turpentine. When you break the leaves and you smell them, it's got a very aromatic smell, kind of like turpentine. I've read before that the Native Americans in Central and Central America and even here in South Florida, they would be able to take the sap, which is quite sticky, and smear it onto branches and then attract birds to those same branches. The birds would then get stuck in the sap and then they'd be able to harvest the birds for their own uses. You can see that the leaves have a very simple margin, simple edge, but they come to a point like this. They're pinnate. and the branching is alternating. It's a great native plant to South Florida and the tropics. This is Gumbo Limbo Tree.